I've been talking about Atlanta for the longest. Living here. It's not a rant. I just come to chit chat and talk about some things that been on my mind. Not whining tonight. I know there's been some mean comments, but I think what I find is a lot of hurtful people. They're angry and they're trying to take it out on everybody else because their life is not good. One thing about Atlanta, sorry, hi again. One, hi YouTubers, how are you? One thing that I find about Atlanta is the traffic. We know that, we hear it, we read about it. And let me tell you about these people in traffic. They won't even stop and let you get in, no, no. Sometimes I see someone having difficulty. Sometimes the way the, the roads are, you might end up on another street and you wanna get back and you just asking them, can I just get in? They won't even give you that courtesy. The traffic is, when I first moved where I'm at now, it was all rural area, like a farm, farm town. Now it's, it's clogged up. It's congested. Uh, it takes me an hour to get home. That's one of the, the cons of living in Atlanta. Atlanta, Georgia is a mesmerizing place. It sucked you in. When I, when I first came and I drove in and it said, welcome to Georgia. I was like, wow, the greenery, the friendliness, I assume the people in the store, even though I thought they were a little cuckoo by talking to me, because you know, up north, we don't talk to each other. And let me tell you something, people always say Philadelphia is dirty. And yes, there are garbage on the street that we walked over, we don't, they don't pick it up. Yes, but I feel like the people are more cultural. To me, I, I had more friends in Philadelphia than I had maybe because I lived here for a while. But let me give Atlanta uh, perks. Let me not say anything bad about that. But the people here, what I find is they're very cliquish. And you can't get into that click unless somebody introduce you. And even if they introduce you, they're very cautious of who they let into their circle. That's one of the things I don't like about Atlanta. It's hard. When you hear on the news, Atlanta is the mega, black mega, and everybody think that all the blacks are doing good they live in big giant houses with the big trees in the backyard no that's not true half of the percent of people here yeah it's a black city but the blacks are not really doing that great to be honest they're struggling and, and I think that has something I'm not sure if that has I shouldn't say I think When you see a large percent of poverty, not only black, Latina, I noticed there's a lot of people doing crooked stuff here in Atlanta. I'm not saying because they don't have any money. I'm not saying because they poor, but the jobs are not here and people hustle the best way they can and sometimes it could be in unscrupulous ways. So you gotta be very careful who you befriend because even that same friend that you invite to your house, you could be in danger. So you gotta be very careful. A lot of people coming into Atlanta with dreams and hope because they thinking this is like San Francisco, this is like LA, Los Angeles, this is like 
Everybody live like housewife of Atlanta. Everybody um, has a studio in their house. Tyler Perry on the street. You're going to meet all these stars. No, it's just like Los Angeles. When I went to California, I was so shocked. I was surprised to see the percent of homeless people that is on the street. I was like actually walking over them. Excuse me. In California. I was surprised about that. There were so much homeless people in California. So Atlanta is not like, don't get it twisted that it's, um, I'm going to come here and I'm going to land this high paying job. No, you're going to struggle before you get to your feet until you figure out what you, you want. You're going to struggle. And I'm the type of person, I don't mind sharing my information they're not very sharing. They're not going to tell you where to go. I'm going to tell them. I, if a friend and need a job, I'm going to say, well, I just started here. Look like they need nurse. Come on, let's do it together. They don't do that. It's like a competition. Everybody competing for what? For what? The only people that I see that can do good if you come in with a profession that they want that there is a need for yes nursing is still a stable career the per the people who are thinking that they're going to be an actress when they come to atlanta i don't see it happening unless you know somebody that's going to hook you up to mr tyler prairie or bravo studio But I have my sister here. She has a car. She won't get in her car to drive nowhere. But so another thing that you should do if you decide that you want to come here and live and you want to buy a house. Like I noticed people from New York. New York house is expensive. So when they come to Atlanta, they can buy their house cash. The lady that was talking to me, the real estate lady, she told me, make sure you get your job first before you pick your house. I didn't understand what she meant. And what she meant was, you want to, um, because of the traffic, you'll be driving forever and you get tired in that job. The job, like, Back in Philadelphia, I used to do two or three jobs. It's impossible to do it because they want you to be on time. And the job might be this way, down the street, and then the other one is like three hours take to get there. So you can't really do two jobs. So I don't want anybody to think I'm down in Atlanta. I'm not downing on Atlanta, but Atlanta has some peculiar ways. It's a family affair. A lot of people working with their family. I was under the impression that I didn't know that at the time. So when I found out, like I was working with this guy and he, I was the charge nurse and his mother was a administrative supervisor on the other unit and he would come in late every day I mean every day we work 7 to 3 he comes in at 12 and when I was there they did not clock in we did not we weren't allowed to clock in because they didn't have time clocks so we would sign our name that we I came in at 7 and I leave at 3 30 or whatever time you leave and I noticed that he was signing in said he came in at 7 a.m. and left at 3 30 and sometimes he leaves real early but when I was leaving they started to um, put the time clock there but I couldn't say nothing I think one time I said that he's always late 
and she was upset about that so you got to be careful so because of that I'm saying to hell with it when my daughter needed a job and I'm a nurse at a facility and I see that they had need a receptionist I'm going to hook her up too since everybody doing it it's the norm in Atlanta mothers and, and, and daughter working as on the same floor as a nurse that's a no no up north so you got to be aware you got to be careful who you offend who you talk to because this all in the family and that's how you could lose the job That's how you could lose the job. Yep. That's Atlanta. Hot Atlanta, they say. And be careful. I told my, my nephew and my niece, be careful who you decide to, you know, you want to go out dating and everything. You just got to be careful because these people, I don't know. They just, I don't think they're stable in their relationship. They just be, it's just, the teenagers just out there. Wow. So, Atlanta is good a certain time, like now. I love the weather. It's February, and it's so warm. I told... A friend of mine the other day is spring in, in Atlanta. It's spring right now. So I'm not here to bash Atlanta because a lot of people say my video, um, it's one of the, it has the most views. I don't understand why that video has so much views. And all I was talking about my, what I did not like about Atlanta and I still don't. And what I do like about Atlanta. So, you know, the cost of living is not low. Like they say, it is high. So just because... And the houses are not even cheap anymore. Mm -mm. So, sometimes we run away from our state. We run away from where we call home. And we think that the grass is greener on the other side and then we get there we're so disappointed